Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the dictionaries in Robot Framework. So dictionaries are very similar to list variable in Robot Framework and it is also a type of variable. So we have seen the scalar variable, the list variable, and now we are looking into the dictionary variable in Robot Framework. Uh, the similarity in terms of list is that dictionaries can hold multiple items similar to lists the difference between the list variable and dictionary variable is that the list variable you access the values using the index of the value that you define but in terms of uh, the dictionary you access the value of the dictionary using the key that you define for the values so dictionaries hold the values multiple values using the key value pair and how you can define dictionary so uh, let me comment out the list variable and say for example i want to define the search text variable using the dictionary and i want to assign uh, these values to the dictionary variable so the syntax is uh, pr pretty similar the only difference is that it starts with the ampersand and then two curly braces and the name of the variable okay so we can simply say uh, search text because I have commented the other one and then tab or two spaces and then you start with the key value pair okay so I'll say ABC as a key uh, sorry and then equal to and the value so I want to specify the value as books and then again two spaces bcd as the key and the value as travel all right so now this is the dictionary variable search text which has two values as books and travels and abc and bcd are the keys so this is how you will set the dictionary variable in a robot framework and in order to access the dictionary variable it is also simple like in the list you have to specify the index of the item that you want to access so for example here we specified the number one uh, which is the index of the second item in this list in terms of dictionary you'd simply have to say dot the the variable name so dollar curly braces the dictionary name which is search search text and dot and then the key that you want to access so for example if you want to access the value books you simply provide the key as dot abc so i'll just say dot abc and now it will access the value book all right so let's update the landing page uh, or sorry search results page as well so here in the search results uh, what we'll do is we'll replace it with the dictionary variable abc right and then run the test so let me open the terminal here and run this particular test and see that it is picking up the value books from the dictionary variable that we have defined so opening ebay.com you can see type books and clicked on search button and you can see the results right so if you go to the report and open the details of the report you can see it's all green the test has passed and here in the input search text if i expand this keyword you will see typing text books into the text text field and this books is coming from the dictionary variable that we have defined in here in the variable section right so if i want to access travel i simply have to change the key from abc to bcd right so the advantage of having the dictionary in um, terms of list is that you have the logic you can define the logical um, keys uh, that you can remember and can use them rather than the index because if you define the list you have to remember at which particular index that particular value uh, stays or uh, lies that you want to access in terms of dictionary you have defined the keys and 
you can simply access the value using the keys now i want to also cover the real scenario where you will be using the dictionary so if you're working in the testing domain there are many test environments that will be available so there will be a development environment there will be a test environment or there could be multiple test environments in many scenarios and there will be a pre-production environment and the production environment so whenever you are doing your automation you want to run your automation suite on different environment without being worrying about um, doing a lot of changes in your code right so how you can act, achieve that with ease using dictionary will cover that as part of this tutorial as well so i'll open this common functionality um, dot robot where i am opening the browser and here what i am doing is i am opening just ebay.com which is the production site right now say for example you want to run your test cases on different test environments without doing much changes so what you can do is you can define the dictionary variable so i'll define a variable say for example um, the url okay so ampersand curly braces and the name of the variable so url and then tab then the key so for example there is a test environment which is a, a qa environment so i'll say qa is equal to uh, http and i'll say qa.demo.com just to give you an introduction about that so for example here if you are testing ebay.com so there might be a environment which says qa.ebay.com which is for the testing of the new functionalities that are being developed by the developers uh, similarly there might be an environment for the uat so we can say uat as a key and then the the url will be http uh, uat dot demo dot com right and then another one will be pre prod or we'll just say dev which developers use for their testing all right so we'll say http uh, dev dot demo dot com so now with the dictionary you are with the dictionary variable url i have defined the key value pair and i want to run my test cases on qa uat and dev or any other environment that might be added later without being worrying about changing this value here again and again okay so at this point of time so for example i want to run the test case here on the qa what i can do is instead of having this value hard coded here i can simply say to access the value or the dictionary variable i can say dollar curly braces the name of the variable which is url and the dot the key so dot qa right so with this what it will open is it will open http qa dot qa dot demo dot com right so let me uh, put a sleep here for four seconds and um, run this test and see that this url gets opened okay so let me run the test so you can see it will launch the browser and you can see qa.demo.com has been opened so it will wait for four seconds and it has closed the browser the test case will fail because we haven't uh, that's a dummy url and nothing will run on this particular url now if i want to run this test case on uat i simply have to change it to the uat the key and the next time you will run it it will run on the uat.demo.com it will open the uat.demo.com right you can see here so that's the advantage of using the dictionary the other thing is now you can see that i am updating the value again and again here right so once you define this dictionary rather than changing the value here what we can do is we can define a scalar variable okay so i can say uh, dollar environment okay as the name two spaces and then i can specify the value okay so for example if i specify the value as qa here and instead of 
putting the value directly here what we can do is we can simply copy this scalar variable okay and then we can say dot dollar env the new variable scalar variable that we have defined right so now whatever value that you'll provide here okay so for example i want to change it to dev i can simply change the value to dev here and once i run the test it will open dev.demo.com url okay so let's see so now you can see it has opened dev.demo.com right and then it will close the browser now the advantage of having this scalar variable here is basically you can specify the variable from the command line and you don't have to keep updating this value here again and again it's because now you have defined three keys here qa uat and dev and in future if you have any more more test environments coming in you can simply add these here and in your command line what you need to do is simply add the variable so you can add minus v and then space and here you can see the scalar variable is environment env so we, i can say env and then colon whatever key that you want to pass so i know there are three environments so qa uat and dev if i want to run my test cases on uat i'll simply pass it as uat and hit enter and now even though this variable dev is defined here the as per the precedence it will take the command line argument will take precedence because we have passed the uat so it has opened the uat url right similarly if i want to run my test cases on the dev or you know like qa so i can simply change the url or the variable to qa and hit enter in the command line and it will open the qa url and run the test case on the qa.demo.com right as you can see here so these test cases are failing because I'm just trying to show you how you can utilize your dictionary variable or dictionary variable in robot framework to ease your work and run your test suite on multiple test environments without being worried about changing the details of the URL into your common functionality or the setup or um, the test setup. Right Now the other thing that you'll be utilizing is Basically, you will be integrating all these test executions from the, uh, you know, like you can uh, either run it from the command line or you can use this command in the Jenkins and you can set up different build jobs in Jenkins for each of these test environment and you just have to do that setup. And with this change using the dictionary keyword, your, your test will be executed based on which environment you want to trigger your test cases from Jenkins. So that's pretty much all about the dictionary variable in robot framework. Hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.